Hey guys, I have another redstone video for you today, and you may have already noticed, but my channel has gone through a complete redesign earlier today, and uh, everything is new, basically, uh, my logo is new, my banner has changed, uh, in terms of videos, my thumbnails are going to be in a different format, uh, and also in this video in particular, you're going to get the chance to see a couple new video elements that I think really make everything look a bit more professional. Uh, as you can see here, in terms of redstone videos, this is an entirely new recording area, I'm no longer in the boring old void. In fact, this is on my second plot, which you can check out on my server. Uh, the IP is going to be in the description below. But enough of that intro garbage. Uh, this is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to make today. This is uh, a new version of a door I've already uploaded on my channel. This is a dual sided funnel. As you can see here, this is the inverted funnel side. And on the other side here, this is the regular funnel side. Um, this is a bit smaller than the previous version. In fact, uh, it's one less in width. I chopped off a layer on this side. And also, the sides are synced, which is a nice little addition uh, to make everything a little bit more nice, um, for lack of a better word. So I think that's it for the showcase. There's really not that much more to show. It's really a simple door. Um, if you want to learn how to build it, then stick around because that's coming up next. So this is new. Uh, this is the parts list for the door. If you couldn't tell from the title that says parts list and it being a list of parts. Um, anyways, you can see that there's no observers in the door and I'm not going to start in on that because I'm just going to go into a rant. Um, but for those of you who already know my stance on observers, you know exactly why there's no observers in this door. Um, anyways, we can get started on the tutorial and I'm going to put the inverted part towards us. Um, so that means that for the layout, it's going to start with um, a piston down here. And then the side pistons are going to be like this. And then the top piston here. And the double piston extender will be uh, on the side that was facing us earlier. Just like this. Now, when the double piston extender does its double piston extender stuff, we need to replace the block in the top to make it all seamless and stuff. As you can see, like that. So the layout for that uh, is going to be like this. Uh, you need a sticky piston here, and then uh, you're going to need another door frame block there, and then you can just have any block there. And I need to grab myself a piston, because this piston is going to be pushing that back to make it seamless. Um, actually, I'm not going to do that now, that's part of the redstone. Um, so our input is going to be down here, just like that. And on this side you need uh, simply a torch, and then another torch to power these side pistons. But on this side here, we're actually not going to directly place a torch here. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to draw dust to the side here and place the torch there. And the reason for that is, is if we were to place the torch here with the dust there, as you can see, it, uh, if your door frame block is solid, then it'll power that piston and things won't work right. Uh, so to avoid that, what we're doing is we're moving the uh, torch to the side there so it doesn't do that. Uh, anyways, to bring the signal up to the top, we need to have uh, some sort of bud coming from this dust in order to get a pulse on both edges. And to do that, what we're going to have is uh, my favorite thing, hopper dropper there. And then a uh, comparator output going into a dust, going into a rail on top. And a uh, torch on the side there will power a dust here. And this just creates a little bud. So when we place any item in there, if we were to update that, as you can see, that gives a little pulse like that in a really nice and compact space that's easy to work with. Next up, what we want to do is uh, place a normal piston here. And what that'll do is that'll update this piston. And then uh, this repeated here on four ticks will power the uh, circuit on this side of the door, which will make the little piston extender work. Uh, so for that, what we need is a redstone block there and then a whole bunch of hopper dropper stuff. So a dropper facing towards us in that position, then hoppers in a loop like this, going back into that dropper. And then we need two dust there and a torch like that. Next up, we can come back to the side and get a comparator output from the hopper chain there. And uh, since the door is currently in its open position, even though some things are currently messed up, which I'll fix in a second, uh, since the door is in its open position, then come around to this hopper on this side here and place the item in there. And that'll just make sure we don't have to reset it later. Next up is I'm going to place that piston that I was almost placing earlier, uh, just up here. And what that'll do is uh, that'll update that piston when it gets powered by that block there. And uh, also, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier, but you may have noticed, but this is the only thing that is on this layer. So if you really don't mind this being unseamless, but you do want to save some space, then you can knock this off 
and the door will work perfectly fine. It's just that it won't uh, become seamless again when it opens or closes rather. Um, anyways, uh, that's almost it. What we need to do is come back to this side and do one more thing. We need a repeater there going into a torch. Then grab yourself some sand, which I forgot to include in my inventory. Some sand. And then place one, two, three blocks. And then an immovable block uh, on the side here, like a furnace or a chest or something. And uh, then that'll be it. All we need to do is reset this. Oh, I forgot that it'll do that. Anyways, <laughs> I guess uh, placing that item so carefully didn't matter. Um, so once again, since it's in the open position, just move that item from there into the side hopper like that. And then we should be good to go. Um, just replace that block there. Try that out. Closes great. And opens great too. Sorry for the lag. My connection just sucks. Thanks, Time Warner Cable. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.